posterior elbow release. This patient's had trauma, cannot fully flex the elbow because the joint capsule or the balloon around the joint is scarred in the back. So we're going to release it through a small open incision. First, I'm going to find the ulnar nerve. See, if you don't release the ulnar nerve as you increase flexion after trauma, the scarring about the nerve will often lead to pain and symptoms of numbness in the small finger. Here we place a skid. We're going to use a cannula. This is for the endoscopic cubital tunnel release. This is what it looks like from the outside. We use a special scalpel blade to cut through the tissue above the nerve that's scarred to it and compressing it. Now I check with the scissor, make sure there's plenty of room for the nerve. Do the same thing above the elbow and creating a space about the cubital tunnel, about the ulnar nerve, using a skid and then placing the cannula. I'm going to show you an inside view. It's the endoscopic view. Again, I use a special knife to release the tissue that is otherwise scarred into and compressing the ulnar nerve. And I just check to make sure it's free. Now once I have the ulnar nerve free, things get easier. Now I'm grabbing the joint capsule that I'm going to cut. And I do this openly because I already have to make a small open incision for the endoscopic. And I get a grabbing device called a coker on the capsule. Now I'm just going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. You can see I'm not using anything much more than an arthroscopic portal to do this. I'm just doing this under direct vision with retractors because it's quicker and easier than doing it arthroscopically. I'm just going to cut out the capsule and there it is. And now we have full flexion of the elbow and the ulnar nerve won't be a problem. All done.